Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Mr. Zelensky uh, makes some claims uh, because he has to uh, accomplish something. So he's building his case right now. And uh, uh, he says that uh, since the beginning of the invasion or special operation, however we want to call it, uh, Russians have uh, fired 750 rockets that were launched from occupied Crimea during the six months, the last six months. Zelensky says uh, today on August 23rd, 2022, from Ukrainska Pravda. And uh, President Zelensky has said that since 24th of February, Russia has launched about 750 rockets from the territory of temporary occupied Crimea. You know where this is going, right? Uh, he says this at the second summit of the Crimean platform on August 23rd, and I'm quoting, since 24th of February, 750 rockets have been launched on our cities and communities from Crimea, because he's going to do the same thing. That's what he is making this, so he can claim the same thing uh, when he's going to do it himself. So, uh, you know, two wrongs, going to make a right. They have destroyed at the very least hundreds of civilian facilities, schools, universities, residential buildings. Uh, I will have to point out and refer you to the Amnesty International uh, report that came and said that actually in many and uh, majority of the facilities they, Amnesty International, uh, searched and looked into, they found that um, the Ukrainian army deposited armament and personnel in schools and um, around residential buildings in the cities therefore exposing and uh, hospitals therefore exposing the population to the threat of being hit by russian army which is a violation so that's why he's saying this as well so he's saying look they did this to us we were innocent and we're going to do that to them because they did us they did that to us and they will probably try to hit cities not only as it is so far which i think i see no issue with this i don't see no issue from the ukrainians hitting hitting back where they hit you from so if let's say uh the russians um, start using um i don't know i'm just saying some missiles from uh, moscow i think it's fair game and fair play <laughs> for the Ukrainians to hit those uh, missiles right there in Russia, in Moscow. I mean, you can't be a weasel like that. I mean, you can try, but I think it gives the other side the same right to try to defend itself by destroying you wherever you are. You can't, you know, hide your uh, missile systems uh, in, I don't know, uh, n next to a hospital. And when you're hit uh, over there and obviously not necessary, uh, you're going to be been pointed you know and there's some other destruction and you say oh, see they destroyed a hospital well why did you put your little shit over there so uh, this is what the, the ukrainians did in i think in almost all instances look where they're fighting they're fighting within from within cities they don't fight from outside outskirts is within and when you hear all these things oh they're going they hit the russians hit yeah, probably some are mistakes. Yes, some are criminals and I'm more inclined to believe or the majority is trying to hit these weasels hiding behind their, their own people and residential areas. That's how I proceed out of the article that I've been reading for the past six months or so. Oh, so these guys say they have destroyed at the very least hundreds of civilian facilities schools, universities, residential buildings, when I already, already explained, explained what seems to be the case here. Therefore, the restoration of Ukraine's control over the Crimean Peninsula will be the biggest anti-war step in Europe. How will be anti-war step? With war is the same. War is peace and peace is war, like uh, uh, George Orwell's uh, nine, uh, 1984 dystopian novel or whatever is this how how it is it's talking like a double speak here or not even new speak it's kind of like oppositional it's not that he avoids uh, you know trying to use certain words and euphemisms and no he says 
uh, <laughs> Ukraine's control, restoration over the Crimean Peninsula will be the biggest anti-war step. Okay, how are you going to achieve that? With anti-war, you're going to use war against that. And I can tell you exactly how he's going to use it in about two or three days. Details. Zelensky emphasized that Ukraine would return to Crimea to, quote-unquote, fix everything that the occupiers have done, end quote. He noted that the delegation, degradation of Russia, Russia began with the seizure of Crimea and that the mass terror of 24 February has become the logical conclusion of this process. All right, let's see. Uh, the degradation of Russia, I think, began, began in 1991 and then ended in 2000, more, more uh, precisely in December 1999 if you know what I mean. That's where the degradation of Russia uh, ended in December 1999. You know what happened then in December. Uh, that's one thing. The other thing uh, is uh, it didn't start if you want to be like concrete. It started uh, also when NATO said that oh, you know, one day Ukraine will join NATO. What? Why? What about the Russian security. That's the main thing. It started when uh, in 2014 it was uh, the democratically elected government Yanukovych overthrown through a bloody uh, fight with the help of outside um, support, right? Support, which is uh, people who did that could be considered criminals. Now, some uh, people in the country did not recognize that overthrow, which was obviously illegal and orchestrated from outside. And then these guys sent tanks and to kill them, they defended themselves. So this is kind of like the chronology of events. Now regarding um, Crimea, return to, to, to Ukraine. Um, Mr. Zelensky needs to open some books and find out uh, how Crimea became part of uh, Ukraine. That's a necessity. And then he can't just stop the uh, year zero, bang, then. He should look a little bit back and see who owned it then and who, who lost it or was taken from and given. And then he can go back and find it. Someone else, someone else, someone else. The question is, how far do we go back? How far do we go back? That, that, and that's the same question with many things, including here in the United States. How, how long do we go back? Uh, so that's another thing. Plus, Crimeans already voted against being uh, part of Ukraine. So they don't want to be with you. So you take something that one don't want to be with you. It's like you're in a, not even a marriage, because this was an arranged marriage. You know, those uh, uh, juvenile or how the underage marriages, arranged marriages, when you're an adult of, uh, I don't know. Uh, so it's like those arranged marriages. So you're like 45, let's say, and uh, the bride is 12 or nine, and you marry her, right? Because her father, gave her to you and then you take her and blah 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 and then after a while she you know she doesn't want to be with you she divorces and she divorces and gets or uh, gets another guy or whatever and then you say well i want her back but she doesn't want to come back to you because it was she was given to you anyway like she was given so what what pretensions do you have about that her what, what claims do you have so this is kind of like crimea Ukraine, Russia, and uh, Stalin, and the Tsars, and so on, the Tatars. It's, a little, it's more complicated than Zelensky tries to make it. And uh, if we go by that, then we should look at, uh, and that's going to hurt us a little cord in Zelensky, we can take the Israelites, and then we can, uh, uh, the guys that they, uh, the Hittites, or Haitites, however you want to pr pronounce it, Ammonites, Ammonites, or whatever you want to call them, they conquered their lands, because God told them. But those were the initial guys in the Middle East where they formed their little club over there. They, someone else was over there. Just by the way, is, uh, Jerusalem was not formed, was not invented, created by the Israelites. <laughs> there were other cities before this, before it was called uh, Jerusalem, it was, had other names. So what are we going to do now? We're going to ask them to do something, you know what I mean? No. So the same here. The Crimea was given. So this guy again, oh, we're gonna, re we're gonna bring it back. They don't wanna come back and it was not yours kind of like, uh, you know, um, hi historically. So, so I think he just wants to now to uh, find a justification for hitting Crimean towns in the future and starting uh, more bombardments. That's what I think he's trying to do. Well, thank you very much for being with me again today. But 
those 750 uh, rockets that were launched from uh, Crimea, if they were shot, obviously, uh, from uh, whatever military facilities, there, he has the right to bomb the out of them. I have no problem in doing that. I think it's just fair. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just.